you have a mini-me? You know, a doll that represents you in the miniverse? Today, I am going to try to make Bella and Toya mini-me's using Barbies. Bella picked out this doll at Target. I kind of see Bella there. She's got a cute little round face. Now I need to pick out a doll for me. Hmm. I want a doll that's smiling so I can match Bella. Out of the fashionistas that are currently in stores, let's go with that one. She's $7.99 right now online, so if I make a mistake, it's not the worst thing ever. I already have one in the house. Looks like all we have to do is change her lipstick, change her hair, and give her a made-to-move body. Bella's gonna need new hair and possibly a lip repaint. Wow, I am totally not taller than Bella, but no worries, when we change the bodies, that will get fixed. Right now, we need to remove some heads. Place the dolls in a plastic bag, then place them into a cup of hot water. I microwaved this, it was boiling, so yeah, this is pretty hot. It's been in there for about a minute. Let's go ahead and check to see if their heads are squishy. Yeah, all right. So we should go ahead and be able to take this right off. Uh, ow! <laughs> that hurt. Okay, yeah, we got it though. Removing the second head. We have to be careful with this one because we want to keep the body. Because this is already a made to move body. There we go. Yay! And nobody got injured. Well, except for the doll. She is now decapitated. So, yeah. Remove all of the factory hair. I can't believe I am cutting this doll's braids off. Uh, I feel so bad. But I'm gonna keep doing it anyway. Use tweezers to remove the small plugs of hair. One down, one more to go. We're just gonna cut these little ponytails right off. That took about 30 minutes or so. As I'm looking at these dolls, I think there's a better option for Bella. Ah, uh, and I just did all that work. I kind of like this Skipper's Babysitter's Ink Doll better. It's the nose. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Sorry. Now we have to remove her hair. And now we're back on track. Bella and I wear faux locks, so I'm gonna use yarn for our hair. Close up, this yarn is perfect for locks. However, it is in a multi-pack, so we would have to pick and choose the parts that we want. Or we can go with this crochet thread. It's pretty thin, but it is all one color, which is very convenient. And we found it in dark brown. I really like the thickness of this one, and it has a lot of body. This will be more convenient Got a whole lot of it in one color, but it doesn't move as well. All right, even though it's gonna be more work, we're going with this one. First, I have to go through the yarn and cut the sections that I can use. I wrap the yarn that I'm not gonna use around a piece of cardboard just to keep it organized and so we can use it later. That took a little bit of time. I ended up with lots of black and a dark brown. I'm not sure if this is really black. It might be kind of a navy blue. Eh, it's pretty close. Do we give Toya the black locks or the brown? And yeah, I'm talking about myself in third person. I'm gonna do the brown to make sure there is enough black for Bella. To root the yarn, I have needles, a threader, and a pair of pliers. Take a needle, I like to use sizes 18 or 22. Place the threader through the eye of the needle. Place the yarn in the hook of the threader. Then pull it through to thread the needle. Take the needle and push it through one of the factory made holes. Then push the other end through the neck. I use pliers to grab the needle and pull it through. Pull the yarn to the desired length Cut the yarn that's coming out of the neck, tie a knot on the end, then pull the other end until it stops. 
giving us our first lock. This yarn is pretty soft, so this is a little easier than yarn reroutes I've done in the past, but it's still pretty time consuming. Continue adding the yarn. For Bella's, I'm rooting every other hole. As I go around the back, I skip even more because I don't want the hair to be too thick. And when you're rooting with yarn, that tends to happen. I've gone all the way around the head and right now this is pretty good. I kind of wish we didn't have to root more, but we need to because we haven't done any of that. So I go down the middle of the head, then sporadically fill in the rest. It's the next day and I just finished both heads. I left quite a few holes in the back empty because I didn't want the hair to get too thick. For Toya, I started to run out of the dark brown, so I had to use the black in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and attach them to their bodies. This was the AA soccer player body, and this is the AA wheelchair Barbie. I had some trouble getting her head on. I had to cut the top of the neck peg down just a little, and then it was pretty easy. In real life, our locks stop behind our knees, so I'm just gonna trim this a little. This yarn is an acrylic polyester blend, and it has a little stretch. This yarn was made for socks, so it's easy to pull it and make ponytails that lie flat to the head, so we'll be able to style their hair in different ways. Put cotton from a cotton ball on the end of a toothpick, dip it in nail polish remover, and carefully remove the red lipstick. I am taking my time because I do not want to repaint her teeth. Not bad. Now Bella's. I mix a mahogany acrylic paint with a thinner and apply a very thin coat to their lips to give them a soft, natural lip color. I use acrylic paint to draw in their eyebrows. I give Bella her moles. I darkened their eye color just a little. Add a little bit of paint around her hairline. On Toya, I add a touch of a gloss varnish onto her nose. Then a little bit of glitter. I use a toothpick to carefully shape it into a circle. Then add a little more varnish on top to make a nose ring. I take Barbie glasses and paint them gold. My frames are all gold, whereas Bella's are gold on the bottom and black on the top. Bend silver wire to make earrings. I use a needle to pierce her ears so she can wear the earrings. I am starting to see us in these dolls. Now let's get dressed. Since these are made to move Barbies, they have Barbie's Endless Closet. Bella is all about oversized hoodies. So we're doing the BMR 1959 hoodie with black leggings from the first wave of Made to Move Barbies, only we're gonna push them up to make biker shorts, pull her hair back to make a low ponytail, give her the gold Puma headphones. At home, she always has headphones on, and they help to hold her hair in place. Give her a pair of white Converse and a tablet to complete Bella's super chill look. For Toya, let's do some overalls and maybe a fan t-shirt. Fold over the top and crease it so it looks like she's only wearing the overalls on one shoulder. Hot pink sneakers from the BMR 1959 dolls. I'm not sure if they match the outfit. But let's be honest, I'm gonna wear pink shoes no matter what I'm wearing. I'm gonna give her this backpack, it's from Lori Dolls. She needs a cell phone and a doll. I found these Barbie career mini dolls at the dollar store. This should be perfect because now our dolls can have their own Barbie dolls. This one is a soccer player. This is... I'm guessing a DJ. Here we have another soccer player. Yay, doubles. <laughs> and, oh, a little director lady. That's pretty cool. We're getting a nice little doll collection here. 
And here we have another DJ. Lots and lots of doubles. Ah. There are eight dolls to collect and my mini me needs a full set for her doll collection. So let's try again. Yay, a new one. She is, I wanna say a baker. I think that's a cake in her hand. She's wearing an apron and yeah, that's a little Barbie cake. So we have four out of the eight. This is another baker. I have the worst luck with doubles. Come on. This time we got a triple. <laughs> another soccer player. Come on, be the Barbie with the hair dryer. No, it's another soccer player. I only have four more bags. And we got a new one this time, yes. She has headphones and a tablet. She looks like she could be a video game developer. I have three bags left and we need three more dolls. No! Another director. Two bags left and we get another director. <laughs> One bag left and it's another video game developer. So it looks like my mini me has five dolls in her collection. We can place a couple of dolls in her backpack so she can take them out for a photo shoot. Giving me a mini Toya to go with my mini Bella. I love our mini me's. The only thing I'm not 100% happy with is Bella's glasses. I'm probably gonna switch them out with Katherine Johnson's from the Inspiring Women series. I do feel kind of bad about taking her glasses, but now we can see Bella's face so much better. And she has lenses in her glasses. It was so much fun creating our mini-me's. This Valentine's Day weekend, we are sharing pics of our mini-me's on Instagram using hashtag mini -me doll day. We hope all of you use the hashtag and join in on the mini me fun. Thank you for joining us today while we made our mini me's of Toya and Bella. Oh man, here is a lesson in knowing when to stop. I went back and tried to do a few touch ups on her lipstick and ended up messing it up. So now I have to repaint the entire lip, including the teeth. I did it. I had to stop the camera and really concentrate, but yeah, not too bad. And I actually like her lipstick a lot better. Personally, I love a soft, natural lip color. And I am very pleased with how these two dolls turned out. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! When you're up, you think you'll